All right, so this video is gonna be 21 dirty side hustles that just about nobody is talking about for 2024 and beyond. Right, so there's a lot of side hustles out there where you can make a ton of money, but they're kind of dirty or you have to work hard and basically nobody wants to do them. So if you're the type of person who's not afraid to get your hands a little bit dirty and work hard, there is a ton of opportunity out there for you. And I actually spent dozens of hours researching this and I compiled a list of 21 of these that are really good. And the research I did for this video was 148 pages long, right? So this is very extensive. And if you appreciate me doing all this hard work for you, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be Roadkill Collector. That's a thing? Yep, this is actually a thing, believe it or not. And there are people that are making six figures a year doing this. You must be joking. Yeah, this is not a job for animal lovers. Plus you have to be on call. So basically if someone sees some roadkill, they're probably gonna report it to the police. Then they would call you and they would have you go pick it up and dispose of it. So in order to do this, you're obviously gonna need a strong stomach, the ability to work independently and an understanding of the local wildlife. So yeah, I don't think I need to say anything more about that one. It's pretty self-explanatory, probably a job that just about nobody wants to do. So there's a lot of opportunity for it. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10 overall opportunity score, because there's other ones on the list that are gonna be a lot better. Like the next one, for instance, which is a graffiti removal specialist. And this involves professionally cleaning and restoring public places by removing unauthorized graffiti using specialized techniques and products. And this is kind of like being an eraser for a city's coloring book, wiping away the doodles to reveal the pristine pages below. And there's a YouTuber, Lena Mean Academy, that basically revealed that they charge $500 to remove graffiti that takes about 45 minutes of work. So that's $500 for less than an hour's worth of work. That's pretty good. So this is obviously another one where you're gonna be on call. You're probably not gonna be able to do this every day, but all you really need is some basic equipment like a pressure washer, some chemical supplies, and some surface cleaning equipment like sponges. So a lot of opportunity here. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, that YouTuber I mentioned probably makes a lot of money from YouTube. And YouTube is one of the most popular side hustles or careers or types of entrepreneurship that people want to get into. And I actually do coach a limited amount of people how to get started on YouTube and also how to monetize YouTube. And I have a bunch of testimonials from people that I've helped. So if you're interested in my coaching, you can book a call down below. Like I said, I'm very limited in the amount of people that I can take. Now I've gotten to the point where I make over six figures a month. It does take a lot of work, but it's also extremely rewarding. So I'll put the link for that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below and you can check it out. The next one on the list is going to be a lawn care specialist. And this one is pretty self explanatory explanatory, you are going to be mowing lawns and you're going to be weed whacking different weeds. And believe it or not, there are lawn care businesses out there that make tens of millions of dollars a year. And a lot of them started off as tiny operations where they just mow a few lawns around the block. And most lawn care services out there charge about $1 per minute or $60 per hour. Now, obviously you're going to need some basic lawn care tools. You can either rent or buy these for a few hundred dollars. And yeah, it's pretty solid, pretty good one to look into. Definitely a great way for you to make some extra money on the side. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I'll put an extra one on this list that isn't really a dirty job, but it's also not something that everyone wants to do. And that's basically anything IT related. So installing computers in people's houses, fixing people's computers, etc. Anything IT related can be awesome. Of course, it requires you to be technically savvy. And in some cases, you may have to have some equipment, but there are countless IT related businesses out there that make over six figures a year and it's just a great little side hustle that you can do but if you want to start out with a job you can also check out free IT training which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below next on the list is going to be a junk removal service now this one believe it or not is actually extremely lucrative these types of businesses basically offer clutter clearing services they help clients declutter their spaces by responsibly removing unwanted items and restoring order to homes offices or even buildings now not only do you get paid quite a bit to remove the junk from the house but but in many cases, you'll get paid to take the junk from point A to point B. That may be a storage unit, or maybe they're just trying to get rid of it. And in a lot of cases, they will actually just give you whatever you want for free. So if you find something in the junk that's actually somewhat valuable, you can just take it. Robin, no! Oh in fact, a lot of people go and search through dumpsters, find stuff, and then sell it online. This is something that I used to do as well. And there were times where I found fully functional flat screen TVs 
and I sold them. They were basically like brand new and I ended up selling them for hundreds of dollars. So with this one, you're probably going to need either a truck or a van, or you could just rent one. You're also going to want to have some really good gloves, but that's about it. You don't need much to get started. So I'll give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a house cleaner, but a very specific type of house cleaning. I highly recommend if you're going to open a house cleaning side hustle or a house cleaning business, you can differentiate yourself by cleaning carpets as well as beds because you need specialized equipment in order to clean these things. And it's a lot harder than just normal cleaning, but you also get paid a lot more per hour. So there's a lot of examples of carpet cleaning businesses and bed cleaning businesses that are making over six figures or even multi six figures per year. So yeah, like I said, you do have to buy the specialized equipment. It's not that expensive, a few hundred dollars to buy and even less than that to rent. But overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a gutter cleaner and gutter cleaners are tasked with removing debris and obstructions from gutters, ensuring proper water drainage and preventing potential property damage. And a lot of the time you can charge 50 to $100 per hour for gutter cleaning and you can hire people to do it for you for about $24 an hour. And basically all you're going to need is a ladder, gloves and a gutter scooper. So yeah, another really good one. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be a pool cleaner. Now this one is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to be cleaning pools and that is going to be ensuring optimal water quality and a clean swimming environment for a family. But what's interesting about this one is the only people who have pools are typically people who also have money and people who have money can spend more money. And this is why you see pool cleaning businesses that are making multiple six figures a year. And there's actually this guy on the internet that cleans pools for a living that now has more followers on TikTok than Kim Kardashian. Now this one does require some equipment to get started. You're going to need skimmers, vacuums, and test kits. But if you get this one started, it can be extremely lucrative. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a home painting business. Now this could be painting the outside of the house or even the inside of the house. And you can make a ton of money doing this. Here is a Reddit thread that I found of this guy who quit his $70,000 a year nine to five job. So pretty good nine to five job. And two years in, he was doing $600,000 a year in revenue painting houses. So yeah, very lucrative. This one's been around forever. It's also really easy to hire people for this one and teach them how to do it. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be picking up trash. And this one is exactly what it sounds like. I mean, of course, what else could it be? In fact, there's a story of a businessman who started making over $650,000 a year after he quit his full-time job and he did it all with a waste disposal business and he was actually inspired by his dad who would pick up rubbish before work each morning and it actually only took two months for him to make more money from picking up trash than he was at his full-time job right so there's tons of opportunities out there for these like boring businesses because the truth is most people just don't want to do this stuff right most people don't want to pick up trash all day long but this one is phenomenal this is really good opportunity if you're not afraid to do some hard work and get your hands a little bit dirty. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be curb address painting. And this is basically where you paint house numbers on curbs to make addresses more visible and accessible for emergency services, delivery personnel, and visitors. And this one has been all over social media. Lots of YouTube channels talk about this, TikTok channels talk about it. And there's even a story of a 14 year old who started a lucrative side hustle by doing this, right? So if a 14 year old can do it, then you can as well. And most painters try charge only about $20 per curb. So if you're able to paint 10 curbs per day, you make $200 a day. So this one is really easy to do. You basically just need some spray paint and you need some cutouts of letters and numbers. And that's about all. Not as lucrative as some of the other ones on the list, but it's just super, super easy to get started with this one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be appliance repair. And this involves diagnosing and fixing faulty household appliances like refrigerators, washing machines, and dishwashers to restore functionality and save homeowners the cost of replacement. And it's kind of like being a doctor for appliances. Now, according to indeed.com, appliance repairmen make on average $27 per hour, but that includes employees. So you'll probably make quite a bit more than that if you start your own business. So if you're someone who's really good at fixing things or really handy, this could be a great opportunity for you. You do have to know how to fix all these things. Most people don't, but yeah, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score as well. The next one on the list is really gonna surprise 
surprise you, but this is actually a really good side hustle um, and it's super easy to get started. And that is trash can cleaning. So we all know that trash cans can get a little bit dirty and a little unsanitary. And what that ends up doing is it ends up attracting lots of different bacteria and insects and vermin. And we don't want that stuff around our house, right? So there's actually a great business where people will actually hire you to come in, you know, once or twice a week and clean their garbage cans. Garbage day! Right, so you have this monthly recurring revenue, which is great. Someone will hire you and they just pay you monthly. So when you get one client, you might have that client for five years and you might end up making $10,000 from them. And there's a story of a 13 year old who had the nickname of the garbage kid who started doing this as a side hustle. And the average price per trash can is about $10. So if you can clean 10 cans in a day, that would mean that your weekly income is going to be $500 if you work five days a week and your annual income would be $26,000 a year. If you clean 20 cans a day, your annual income would be $52,000 a year. And if you clean 100 cans a day, your annual income income would be $260,000 a year. Now these cans don't take that long to clean at all. You basically just need a power washer and some basic cleaning equipment and that does the trick. So this one is actually surprisingly good. There's people who are absolutely crushing it doing this one. So I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a sofa cleaner. Have you ever went to somebody's house or maybe even at your own house and you realize that your sofa just gets progressively more and more dirty. But the problem is most cleaning equipment is going to stain your sofa. So it's actually really difficult to clean it. Well, that's when you would hire a sofa cleaner. They would have specialized equipment that can clean sofas without damaging them. And a lot of the time they will charge around $500 to steam clean a sofa or a couch. But at minimum, you would charge $150 to $300 each. And so at minimum, if you did three per day, you'd be making $450 to $900 per day. That's easily over six figures a year. And if you made $900 a day, that would be over $300,000 a year. So yeah, this is another one that's very similar to rug cleaning or bed cleaning where normal cleaning companies typically don't do this. No, no, I no can clean. So that's an opportunity for you to come in, for instance, contact the cleaning company and tell them, hey, if you have any clients that need their bed, sofa or carpet cleaned, just send them over to me and I'll give you a referral fee. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be mailbox installation or mailbox repair. So in some cases, somebody might not have a mailbox or maybe they have it, but it got damaged. So you could come in and either repair the mailbox or if the damage is too bad, you would go ahead and replace it. Now you can make a bunch of money just replacing mailboxes or you can upsell them to getting fancy mailboxes. And a lot of people buy stuff that they don't need. So you could probably charge like twice as much for a fancy mailbox versus a normal one. And on average, one mailbox costs about 60 to $380 to repair. Now this one does take some time to get started started, you know, you kind of have to like go throughout your town and look for mailboxes that have been damaged and then maybe just knock on the people's doors and ask them if they need your services. And then eventually you'll kind of just be known by word of mouth and people will just send referrals to you. So it's not one that you can start off super easily. So for that reason, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, you've seen some side hustles, you've gotten some good ideas, you know, maybe you think that somebody else could also benefit from it, go ahead and share it with a friend or a family member. Member. The next one on the list is a super lucrative one if you're a little bit tech savvy, and that is going to be mobile phone repair. And this one is so lucrative that there's a story on CNBC Make It of a guy who started a multi million dollar company out of his college dorm room. And you guessed it, it was a phone repair business. And if you think about it, this is a problem that so many people have. You know, you might be looking at your phone right now, it's got a cracked screen, or maybe your phone is way slower than it used to be, or maybe your phone's battery stops working, or maybe your phone starts to overheat, or maybe it just won't turn on, or there's just something wrong with it. Well, it does take a little bit of tech savvy, but it's not that hard to figure out how to fix them, especially if you do it all the time. And a lot of the time people will charge like $200 to fix a thousand dollar phone. So this is a really good one. I mean, I know people who make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing this. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a garage organizer. So there are a ton of people out there who have garages that just keep on getting more and more messy as they throw new stuff or old stuff into them. Oh. Oh. Get a garage inside your garage. 
Impressive. And for a lot of people out there, messiness drives them crazy. And if you're one of those people who's really organized and you really like to clean stuff, you can actually make money doing that. And basically what you'd be doing is sorting, decluttering, and implementing efficient storage solutions within garages. So this actually creates more space for them so that they can clutter it up even more. And it also makes them look a lot better. There's a great story on CNBC Make It of a 40-year-old mover who went from working six jobs to earning $109,000 a year doing exactly this. And garage organizers actually make on average about 50 to $85 an hour. So this one is another dirty job. You're gonna be sorting through people's stuff, but you also have to have some good organizational skills as well. And it really doesn't take anything to get started other than maybe some gloves, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to find clients for this one because it's not obvious to just like look at a house and see if it has a dirty garage. The business is just gonna start rolling in. So overall, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be pet waste removal. So this one's pretty obvious. You go into someone's backyard or their front yard and you remove the pet poop basically Ugh. and this is something where a lot of the time they might pay you weekly or monthly so that's great because if you get one client you might have them for five years it's not just a one-off deal where you only clean once and you can actually make it to six figures with a poop scooping business believe it or not so overall this one isn't as lucrative as some of the other ones on the list but it's still pretty good and it's very easy to get started so i'll give it a six out of ten opportunity score the next one on the list is going to be mobile car detailing or mobile car washing so car detailing is basically where you clean the inside of a car and car washing is where you clean the outside of the car and a lot of the time they will go together but doing this mobily is even better because that means that the person doesn't have to come to you and you can make a ton of money doing this like this one is one of the most lucrative ones on the list so for instance belk mobile detailing this is someone who posted their information online about how much they make they make about two hundred forty thousand dollars a year and that's with a team of three people and honestly with doing this business it would probably be hard for you to not make six figures and there's a youtube video i saw of someone who told their story of going from five hundred dollars to 30k per month with a mobile car detailing business right so this one is super super lucrative now of course you have to have a few you know pieces of specialized equipment, you know, some quality cleaning products. You also need to have either a car or a truck that can hold all the stuff you need. But this one is amazing. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is very weird, but also surprisingly lucrative. And that's going to be an environmentally friendly diaper service. Come again. And what you're gonna do is you're actually going to be doing weekly home delivery of compostable diapers and wipes. And you're going to be collecting the diapers and wipes that you delivered the week before and disposing of them. Now, this is another one of those where you can get that monthly recurring revenue or MRR, which is great because they'll probably pay you weekly every single time you drop off diapers. And not only do they pay you for the diapers, but they pay you for the service of dropping it off and disposing of them. So you'll probably make about 20 to $30 each time you drop something off weekly. So that's about $120 per month month. So all you really need is about 30 clients or so, and you'll have a full-time income. And in some cases, they'll actually want reusable diapers. So in that case, you would pick them up and then you would clean them and then you'd deliver them again. Oh, that is nasty. And typically you are going to be doing this service for upper class clients. So these are people who have a ton of money. So you might get paid even more than that. So yeah, this one's pretty niche. You have to live near an affluent neighborhood typically. Plus it's not as profitable as some of the other ones on the list. Plus it's honestly just really disgusting. But if you're willing to do it, you can make pretty good money. I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about furniture restoration. And this basically involves repairing, refurbishing, and enhancing the appearance of old or damaged furniture to restore its original beauty. So someone might have a chair, for instance, like a wooden chair that's been in their family for a hundred years and you know it's broken, it doesn't look very good. You would come in, you'd fix the chair, you'd make it look good again, and they would pay you a good amount of money to do that. Now, there's many different ways you could do this. In some cases, you would just go ahead and pick up old furniture that people threw away. You'd repair it and then you'd resell it. So there's a lot of different ways to make money from furniture restoration. And there was an article I saw on LinkedIn about people who are actually making a good amount of money doing this. Now, it does require some craftsmanship and it's also probably not as profitable as some of the other ones on this list, but it's still a good one and it's still one you can make a lot of money from, especially if you live kind of closer to affluent neighborhoods. I'll give this one a 
6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And all of these side hustles, you could start making YouTube videos about them and probably grow incredibly quickly. And YouTube is probably the best side hustle out there, like I said before. So if you wanna check out my coaching again, I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You get to work directly with me. But like I said, I'm also very picky about how many people I accept because I have limited time. Also check out my video I did a few months back on 10 side hustles you can do in 2023 to earn money. You can check that out by clicking right here.